Assalamu alaikum, hello everybody. Uh, this is uh, episode 3 of the project 1. So we'll see now how can we connect both the book manager and the graphical user interface. Remember the graphical user interface we did here? And we have nice uh, graphical user interface of list of items we need to add or we already added and we converted the application that we had book application into uh, two classes the first one book class in which had the different information about the book uh, book manager that handle all kind of items uh, in the in the graphical user interface now we'll see how can we put two things together so that when we run the graphical user interface it runs perfectly say so let's run it here right click run file now the idea is that what do, what do you want exactly we want from the graphical user interface when you click list all books we need all the books will be listed so when we click list a new book will be or a list of books will be listed there are different kind of ways to do that but the first thing we need to establish all kind of things that we need in order to do that okay so let's close this and get started so let's go to the graphical user interface graphical user interface uh, switch to source and here now we're gonna use uh, our manager that we define so I will define uh, manually the, the book manager let's call it my manager or B manager is called B manager and I say new book manager so notice this data member I will be using it to do handling item 1 2 3 4 and so on and so forth so I will be have it ready inside my class B manager so I can uh, just to show you what's gonna happen now inside this class I say I can say B manager dot and I can see handle item 1, handle item 2 in which he will give me if I tell him handle item 1 he will give me list of books, all books if I tell him handle item 2 he will give me the two values of um, let's say the uh, the maximum minimum values ok uh, let me remove this and see now what we can do now we need to see uh, how can we capture the clicking in the graphical user interface so this is a graphical user interface I would like to know how to capture the clicking the, this is called event handler which means click is a is an event okay and if you want to capture it there's a there's a model inside the graphical user in Java which is control model view in which if you want to handle the click you need to write code corresponding to that so how can we do that so to handle let's say the click of the button in the graphical user interface uh, in the in the design model just double click on the list all books button if you try that just double click all of a sudden you will see a new method will be generated called item one button action performed you can put the code that you want here you can put the code that you want here to handle this now what exactly how can we handle that so what are we gonna do basically I need to list all the books so I need to get them first to get them first I already have let's say here books or uh, all books let's say and I can use the B manager defined up there remember defined up there should be already there set up created already done basically it will go to the file populate the, the array and close the file come back now here I can go B manager dot oh handle item one he will give me all the books so i got all the books i got all the books now i can do uh, i can do listing them how can i put them in the graphical user interface remember i do want to print them here i want to show them in a graphical user interface so how can i do that you have two options one option if i may go to the design mode you can put the result down here so th this is the simplest one I will increase the size here a little bit I will uh, I will do some kind of little bit adjusting here a little bit so that I can make some room to the result all right and here I can add uh, one extra uh, what do you call them 
one extra control in which I can add uh, text area in which I can add text to it drag here okay I know this one will be big because I might have hundred books in the future I don't know so I can also increase down here down here you can increase if you want okay so this is the text area of course I need to change this I need to know that this text area will give it a name called result result text area uh, I don't care about other other things but I can put some kind of uh, label a label that tells me here uh, let's call it output okay here the text here uh, I go to text and I say output output see and now oh there is miss okay here we go now what will happen now if you click list all books I assume all the that will show up here in the output remember this is a variable this is a class called text error result text class so let's get back here if I double click on list all books here you'll see this I got the books but I want to display them so now I have a place to display them in order to do that have a loop all books dot length i plus plus and now I need to add each book there so this dot I can get the name the text the result text area here and I would like to set the, the text of it to be what I can say all books of I all books of I that's it I can see with dot to string but it's already uh, automatically will created all that automatically will be called but I can do something better we'll see in a second so uh, of course here it, it complains because this is an object and it requires just a string just say two string and it will be things now it would be nice if of course here's a text um, something you need to accumulate all of them so let's define uh, some standard string buffer new string buffer to put all the text and at the end we add them let's reserve uh, 10k bytes there just a number here and here uh, I will not add them to the text area I will accumulate the text first by saying uh, string buffer append all books to string here and I can append new line because I need a new line and it keeps going this way at the end I will say this dot result dot set text to the sb dot to string this way I am I will populating the text area just uh, in case the text area had let's say some kind of previous uh, yeah, I can add uh, one extra thing here sb dot append here uh, let's say uh, list of all books so this will be listed at the begin uh, at the beginning of the text area so this is the handler for item one look how did I do it I use the book manager defined up there here and we wrote it in the second episode now there's a method called handle item one that give me all the books I went through the books, added all the book sticks inside uh, a string buffer, something similar to string, but it's faster or it's, it's, it saves a lot of memory. And at the end, I added to the text. Let's see what will happen if I run now. If I just try to click and say run file, I hope everything is okay. I d we did not test it before, I hope it will test. If I click list all books, oh, look what I got list of all books and it give me something all the books that you have notice that I am stuck with the two string method here so uh, you can add more code in which you can put different kind of thing here instead of having this format you can do some kind of better way of displaying and this is the purpose of the uh, of the of the graphical user interface so let's do some kind of a little bit formatting here so I will go to the book class because it has a two string method and I will not add the Q 
keyword book or title I just return title and I will say backslash t which is tab and after that author and after that backslash t and after that pages um, backslash t and after that price and after that ISBN it's better to have the ISBN at the beginning by the way because so I'll put ISBN first uh, ISBN plus backslash n plus here we go now I change the the two string method a little bit okay if I go again and run and I say box it looks a little bit maybe uglier I don't know <laughs> so here the ISBN um, effective pearl Joshua why why the the ice the ice became new line here i don't know let me check some part of the debugging debugging part here if i go to the book did i add new line oh i added new line i should add a tab instead okay now let's go back and run list books oh it looks nicer i guess maybe the only thing it's missing is some the 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 header for the whole thing so i can add a header here by saying let's say here handle item one no i have to go to the graphical user interface i can have another append sp dot append and i can put ispn backslash t and after that uh, title backslash t what else help me out here um, the next one is price maybe let me check uh, author page price okay uh, author backslash t uh, pages backslash t and finally the price backslash n and let's see how does it look list items looks here we go i spend title author price nice looks nice right uh, the last thing just to make thing a little bit sb dot append it would be nice if i put a space like this and we'll see that there is you know let's, i should put backslash in actually okay now i run it looks nicer i guess isb and title auto. now as you can see now to finalize thing how about list max min look these are not working now because we did not handle the click on them the only one that worked this one this one worked fine how about this let's do it because we did it in the manager so let's do it go again uh, close the the run you have to close the run go to the design double click on min max here okay and we're gonna write the code so how are we gonna write the code basically remember we can get the min max price from uh, let's call it prices from b manager that and i say handle item 2 remember handle item 2 this method will return a rate of two doubles the first number represent the minimum price the second price so i can call it now i have the bingo so all what you need to do is there's no need for a loop because there are two values all what you need to do i can copy and paste this part maybe and put it here and say oh i don't uh, uh, let me let me take this back oh no i i need i forgot to copy the the string buffer okay control z okay here we go so here's uh, the report here will be less uh, uh most expensive and least x uh, i can say most least least expensive book price okay i am i am sure you can write better title than this in the, in the output result here okay i added double quotation will remove it here okay and I'll remove this i don't need it and after that maybe i will do i need this no i don't know I leave it. You can remove it if you want. And let's print now. Yes, we dot append uh, 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 most exp 
uh, least for fearful least expensive okay that append and the least expensive is is prices of zero the first number okay uh, uh, remember the uh, append you can add back selection and also now you can do the same thing here, copying and you can the prices of one which is the most expensive i can add a price just to make it perfect okay and we're done we're done for the second item i can run make sure that it, it's fine okay if i list all the books let's check the prices 120 90 23 so the the 120 is the most expensive right or uh, and the least expensive 13 million let's check if i say let's meet min max oh it doesn't work list min max doesn't work why is that mm, something wrong i don't know let's go back and see what's going on here design if i say min max like this what will happen it's here prices item new string buffer is oh we did not add it to the text area i see we forgot this part you know we added the string buffer but we did not add it to the text area so we have to add it this way. now let's run again and we added that see uh, run okay if i say all books all books oh here we go least book 13 most books 101 okay so this is it for the item 2 i hope you can do the rest in the same token the same way and enjoy the assignment i hope all of you got 100 out of 100 thank you very much